Well, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and um, we're told in the Torah that the God's laws and decrees and statutes and ordinances, um, and we shall carry them out and live by them. It's in Leviticus chapter 18, verse 3. The exact quote being, you shall observe my decrees and my judgments, which man shall carry out and live by them. Now, in the Talmud, in Masechta Yoma, this is Tractate Yoma, dealing with uh, Yom Kippur. Our sages derive from this verse, this Pasuk, that the commandments are given to us to live by, not die by. You know, you don't... Uh, you got to be you know, normal about this. You can't do this to your death. Um, and so what happens is there comes the doctrine of pukuch nefesh, um, the doctrine that in order to save a life, to preserve a life, all the mitzvahs go right out the window. If you have to break the Sabbath, drive on Sabbath to take somebody out of the hospital, you do it. If you're starving and the only thing you can eat is something that's not kosher, not only are you allowed to do it, you're obligated to do it to save your life. Everything goes out the window uh, except for three commandments. Idolatry, sexual immorality, and murder, killing an innocent person. Those aren't covered by the doctrine of Pekuach Nefesh, saving a life. Given the choice between murdering someone and death, you're to choose death. Uh, given the choice between idolatry and death, you choose death. And throughout our history, many, many Jews have chosen death rather than convert. Um, so, how do we rationalize this? Why are these three sins so powerful that not even the doctrine of saving a life, the doctrine of Pekuch Nefesh, can override them. Uh, an insight is given by a Rav Yitzhak Goldwasser, who implies that a life of murder and idolatry and sexual immorality, that's not living. That's not a life. Uh, that's death. And therefore the command of V'chai Bohem, live by them, doesn't apply to these sins, because you're not saving a life. Um, so therefore that doctrine uh, simply doesn't apply. It's interesting to observe that the uh, our sages say that the destruction of the first temple, the destruction of the first Bezamigdas was brought about because the sins of murder, idolatry, and um, sexual immorality had um, infected and contaminated uh, the Jewish people. And it brought about uh, the destruction. And um, the second one was brought about by Sinas Hinim, baseless hatred. Now, you might think that murder, idolatry, sexual morality, that's pretty heavy stuff, but hating somebody for no reason seems, you know, seems almost trivial, God forbid, by comparison. But look at the punishment. The first temple destroyed within a century. The uh, Babylonian exile was uh, over. Jews were allowed to return and um, rebuild the temple. The second temple destroyed, Sinas Hinam, baseless hatred. The exile is going on for, going on 2,000 years. So um, we can learn a bit uh, from that. The mitzvahs are here to live by, not to die by. Um, keep this in mind. Uh, we're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.